He revealed that Sniper Wolf had actually messaged him on Twitter and effectively threatened to sue him, even mentioning she contacted his network full screen. Messaging me privately, and she ended up saying a bunch of stuff like how, you know, she was threatening to, I guess, like take legal action and stuff like that. And to be honest with you guys, I was fucking scared. I was just like, fuck it, I'll just take down the video or cut the part out or whatever. You were scarce? Are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck is this She also was threatening to contact full screen, which is my network. In regards to Sniper Wolf's public response, she made a statement on Twitter saying she's not even married and then the realtor had simply made a mistake when writing them down as husband and wife. Wait, but scarce in your reaction, what if you contact full screen first? What if you're just like, hey, this is what this motherfucker's trying to do? I wonder what their reaction. I don't give a shit! Funny enough, actually, bring you back to the past. I was partnered with full screen. <laughs> back in like 20, like 15, 2014, on a different channel I made some games and stuff. I can't really say if I've had, I'm just, that's my, my personal, I, I mean, I, they didn't, when I requested a payout from them that I didn't really receive, they sent it without any problems. It's been my experience with full screen. So I mean, okay. I guess given how everything is, given how crappy this person is and there's nothing you can do about it, the only thing you can do is just try to react accordingly. So in scarce scenario, scenario, damn it. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Hey, what's up guys? It's Britney, bitch. Scarce scenario. The scenario reminds me of this popular meme. He could have brought it up to somebody who she's threatening to go to. Like, hey, do you see what's going on? Look at this video. Look at this person's doing. I wonder what they'd say. Now that has nothing to do with the, the lawsuit. You can't really go to the government and be like, hey, look what this person's doing because it's designed to make so that that is very difficult and inconvenient and siphons money from you. But something like full screen, like that should be a little bit more accessible for somebody in Scarcis's position. This is Sniper Wolf to Scarcis's position. Wait a minute! Who are you? Hey, what's up, guys? It's. In regards to Sniper Wolf's public response, she made a statement on Twitter saying she's not even married and then the realtor had simply made a mistake when writing them down as husband and wife. She did confirm that the deed was real, although the tweet responses seemed to be largely positive, basically accusing Herodic of being a liar. If I was married, of course I'd tell everyone lol. Yeah, super trustworthy. Sources. Dude, trust me. Citation 1, it is known. Citation 2, it is known. Citation 3, it is known. And Citation 4, it is known. Footnote 1. This was once revealed to me in a dream. She just says stuff, and then, what? Well, she expects people to believe it, and she's not wrong for expecting that. Look at the comments, look at the crap people are saying about her in her videos, look at the support she has. Why would she? Her delusions are directly reinforced. Why would she not? It's other people that, that give her these, these crappy, disgusting standards that they conduct themselves based on. Herodic himself would go on to make a video in response to Sniper Wolf. In it, he expressed annoyance at Sniper Wolf's petty ways of avoiding this drama. He also addressed her Twitter response, arguing that the point she's making is tantamount to impossible, given the importance of a couple's status on a real estate deed. He also alluded to having seen Sniper Wolf and Sausage's marriage certificate, <laughs> although he flaked on actually showing any sort of proof to that effect, eventually concluding that he would rather leave the drama be. For a while, it seemed this would be the end of it. Herodic had expressed he wouldn't address it anymore and that he'd been willing to let go of it, and for the most part, it didn't seem to be impacting Sniper Wolf's content much, at least not to any substantial degree. But then, around two weeks later, she decided to strike the video, claiming the reason behind it was the photo Herodic had used as the thumbnail. Herodic quickly responded, where he attacked her for her actions. He spends a lot of the video's runtime discussing what had happened and going over the contents of the video that had been taken down, while continuing to make the argument that Sniper Wolf had in fact been married to Sausage. He also showed clips from other Scarce videos, one of which included a DM from Sniper Wolf in which she told Scarce that the video had been taken down, and on top of that, Leah claimed that the video itself was putting her life in danger, which Herodic dismissed wholesale. That's crazy. Victim all the fucking way. And she will use that because it's very powerful. It works. It works on people. You're a victim! Mm. I'm clearly a victim of society. Oh, fuck. The same way, you know, trying to elicit sympathy, playing on people's sense of being good. Because people aren't good. They're, they're bad. All you gotta do to control them is just acquire 
some influence or degree of influence over the way that they feel. And if you play on people's primitive urges, you can get them to do whatever you want. That's exactly what she's, she, like, there's constant justification after justification for them being a piece of shit that they always have. They could just say stuff that can absolve themselves emotionally. It's, it's, life is a tragedy, man. <laughs> This person is very successful and like, what? There was only some degree of backlash after they went after somebody who was almost as, not even really as large, but she's picking on people who are very small because she can, right? That's how it works. That's how the world works. That's how this disgusting species operates. It's, it's hierarchy. It's, it's domination. Want to be dominated? We'll dominate you. We'll ask you to be gentle. It's, you get ahead of by, by destroying the people around you and, and, and hoarding resources. That's what you do. That sucks, man. In the end, this saga didn't really have that much effect on her. She herself never made a video addressing it, and YouTubers like Scarce were unwilling to strongly speak out against her. Granted, Scarce is a little, little bit of scaredy baby. He seems to not be the most confident in himself. I'm gay. I'm a lesbian. I am actually pansexual. I am transgender. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scares. What is up, guys? Scares here. One, two, three. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Scares here. Now, I can't... Okay, can't clown on them too hard, right? Because there is legitimate legal ramifications. Remember, corruption, bad people. So, I, you have you have a reason to be, like, a little worried there. Because people suck. So I can totally believe, you know, under, sympathize and empathize with, with you being like, okay, I'm not, I'm staying away from that. Understandable. So I mean, it's just, it's just jokes, scares the, scares the boo. Hey, what's up guys, it's Scares here. Honestly, probably partially due to the fact that at the time, this was an unfair invasion into her privacy, you know? Nobody really needed to know whether she was married or not. And thankfully, she had enough support that she didn't really suffer any lasting damage from it. Again, the most ardent people opposing her were small YouTubers, such as the eponymous Truth Revealed. However, if for nothing else, her abuse of copyright was now shown to a larger audience. As for her drama with Sausage, the supposed marriage was never really brought back up on her channel. And for the next few months, they would allegedly break up and get back together multiple times. This coincided with both of them getting arrested on the 12th of August 2016 for disorderly conduct after having an alleged screaming match in their apartment. You got the most, like, physical face I have ever seen in my life. Like, your face strong as fuck. Ah! Man, the f*** is wrong with you, nigga? I'm, man, I'm finna... Ah! 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 Hypergamy! People would probably look at Sausage and be like, he looks like a sausage. Why does she, why is she with him? Why isn't she, um... <sighs> That's the thing, it's not a lot of things play into hypergamy. That's why you see people like Bezos getting cucked. Because it's like, it's not just your status, it's not just your wealth, it's not just... It's it's emotion, it's curating people's emotions, it's making them feel a certain way. It's playing on their primitive biology. Sausage makes her feel pretty glizzy on the inside. Keep it on to the streets! Hey, yeah! Like, he does something for her emotionally. Clearly, it's very toxic because she's a crappy person, right? And they're both probably really not very good people. But, like, that's the reason for that. Like, why are you still with us? Why are you breaking up? Why is there so much toxicity? It's, like, it's just emotions. And I've noticed when it comes to female hypergamy, like, it's, it's, you kind of just, it's a game, like, with everything else, right? You just got to learn how to understand it, and then you got to learn how to manipulate. You got to learn how to, like I said, it, curate people's emotions. In a, in a in, in incre incredibly unpredictable and volatile fashion. You have to make people feel bipolar if you want them to love you. <laughs> uh, from what I've seen, and how everyone, and every, all the people around me, from the personal experiences I've had, from the uh, everything I encounter, it's just feelings. Yeah, that's why you're always getting abusive relationships. That's why people stay together for, for years, back back years. That's why people are always complaining about their significant others. Oh, this person does this and that and this, and uh, it annoys me. It's like, all right, but you're still consider them to be your partner. That's your fault. Like, you just didn't learn how to tame your primitive biology. And as a result, you now have these major fluctuations of, of, of your emotions based on how another person, just based on just another person. Right, what they do, 
what they do to me, how they make you feel, all stuff, crap like that. Screenshot. Who? She seems pretty proud of herself. And that looks like a that looks like a person that looks like the mugshot of a person who knows they have money and can do what they like. 